Welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. Today we'll be looking at the cockpit and steering wheel of the Renault. Instructions are sparse, there isn't even a colour suggested for the steering wheel. This is a picture I found online which is similar but slightly different, but I used it as reference. I started by colouring the seat using the mixture of semi-gloss black and steel with a ratio of about 9 to 1 to replicate the carbon fibre seat. I left the top surround blank because looking at other seats it was usually covered with a fabric. I then did the steering wheel support in the same colour and the centre of the steering wheel. The grips on either side I will do using anthracite which gives it a matte finish a bit like a felt. Like before, I primed these parts in advance and will touch up any missing details afterwards. The seat belts were the only decals included for the cockpit, but I'll be using sticky back vinyl seat belts along with photo etch buckles instead. Here I'm using the anthracite, which will dry in a matte finish, giving that felt texture that I was looking for. Here you can see how I've started to mark out the buttons using a cocktail stick and red, green, white and yellow paint. I'm going to move on to doing the seat belts. I bought the straps and buckles along with decals from an Etsy marketplace seller. I've included the link in description. They've gone a really long way and I've used them in several cars, but I've now run out of buckles, so I bought some replacement. Here you can see I've built two of the seat belts already, and the new buckles are provided by ABBA. These buckles are designed to create two sets of six-point harnesses. However, by being a lot more creative, I can make them go quite a bit further. Here I will use just three photo etch seat belts pieces to recreate a six point harness. I've used two pieces along with small buckles for the seat belts for the driver's shoulder. I'll then use one single piece of strap to go round the driver's waist and then another piece of strap with a small buckle attached to replicate the straps that would go between the driver's legs, therefore creating the illusion of a full six-point harness. Here you can see it in close-up. I then attach the decals for the seatbelt branding. I looked up some pictures of the seat in question to make sure that I got this correct. The decals are part of one continuous piece, so they need to be cut out individually. Finally, I glue the pieces together using Ravel poly cement. And to finish off, here are some pictures of the completed seat 
I'm pretty pleased with this. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon.